For those of us that have kitted out quite a few vehicles for remote area travel, I think most of us would agree that the most beneficial accessory you can fit to a four-wheel drive is a aftermarket suspension system. And it's one of those accessories that you will appreciate every time you drive the vehicle. So Michael, do you want to just talk us through what you've done on your uh, Land Cruiser? Yeah, so Matt, we've got BP51 suspension in here, which uh, gives me the versatility of having a really good shock for doing the hard yards, doing the hard work, but also making the finer adjustments to both compression and rebound on both the front and the back of the vehicle to suit the load and to suit the location that we're traveling in. For me, the versatility on that is great. So if I'm heading down the highway and I've got eight hours of driving to do, I can firm it up a little bit. When I'm up in the high country and or out in the, the moguls in amongst the Simpson Desert, I can loosen it all up and make it soak up the terrain a little bit more. They're a fabulous shock, it's bypass technologies. The further the shock travels towards its end points, the more compression and rebound is applied, which basically keeps things more subtle. What you need to remember is that with a standard vehicle suspension, the car comes with the same springs and shock absorbers irrespective of what country in the world it's been sold in. And you can't possibly have a one size fits all approach. I mean, when you start putting accessories onto a vehicle like bull bars and winches, and obviously you start carrying a fair bit of load in the vehicle, it really is gonna alter the handling dynamics of the car. So the beauty of having a perfectly tuned suspension is that you'll really get optimum ride, comfort, control and ultimately safety. We've got a fairly heavy vehicle here and the GVM on it is uh, $39.50 which is available through ARB stores and this GVM upgrade that we have is specifically suited to carry the loads that we will be carrying. Lots of camera gear, tripods, light stands, lead shot bags. So on top of that we've selected a, a rim from ROH. It's actually designed for the heavier vehicle. So all these vehicles that are getting the GVM upgrades through ARB, to take an aftermarket rim like this greatly lessens the chances of cracking a rim while you're out on the road carrying these heavy loads. So Michael's gone for the new BF Goodrich KM3 tyre. I probably had a little bit to do with that. I attended the global launch for the KM3 earlier this year. That was a major event held up in the Victorian high country. BF Goodrich got journalists from all over the world to road test vehicles up in the high country. They had about 24 drives. There's a lot of good off-road tyres on the market in Australia. I think the thing that really impressed us with the KM3 though was that it's a brilliant off-road tyre, it's got huge traction, very puncture resistant, but it's actually a very, very reasonable tyre on road as well. We found them quiet, we found them drippy, so for somebody like Michael that's going to be driving this vehicle on thousands of kilometres of bitumen before he even gets to his, his destinations, it's really important to have a tyre that, that does everything very well, and uh, this new KM3 certainly does that. The first trip for this will be out in the Simpson, and I'm really looking forward to letting them right down and seeing how they actually perform. So to follow the rest of the build on the Mighty 79, Stay tuned to ARB's Facebook and Instagram pages and keep an eye out for ARB's 4x4 Culture Magazine.